Yo, what's good guys? This is Theo here coming to you live with part 15 of Introduction to C++ Programming here on sololearn.com. Everyone can code. So we are on logical operators. So let's get started. So uh, use logical operators to combine conditional statements and return, tr and return true or false. So here's the and operator. Um, this is what it evaluates to in you know, just plain English. And this is what it looks like. You have your variable y and you have your variable y. So that's sort of the pattern. I'm not going to read all of these out, but here's your or, here's your not. And here you can sort of see your logic. If you have false and false, you get false. If you have false and true, you get false. If you have true and false, you still get false. So the only one you get true is um, true and true. It results in true. In the and operator, both operators must be true for the entire expression to be true. Okay, cool. So like, say like in in the real world, right? You're, you're, you're um, you know, you're looking at your, 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 um, your grades for the semester and you realize like I need to get an A on this test and this test in order to pass the class right or get a certain grade it doesn't work with one or the other you need to have both otherwise no it's a no-go okay so fill in the blanks to test both conditions in the following if statement so here we have integer age set equal to 23 and we have money set equal to 4 so we say if age is greater than 21 and money so both conditions then print welcome awesome so the AND operator, for example, integer age set equal to 20, and we say if age is greater than 16, which it is, and it's less than 60, which it is, okay, so it's evaluating both of these conditions, and all it's going to give us back is a truth, it's a truthy or a falsy value. So that's all it is. It's always evaluating to a Boolean ex expression of true or false. In the example above, the logical AND operator was used to combine both expressions. The expression in the if statement evaluates to true only if both expressions are true. Cool. So the result of A and B is true if both A and B are true. Awesome. So within a single if statement, logical operators can be used to combine multiple conditions. Let's look at this. We have integer age set equal to 20. We have integer grade set equal to 80. And we're saying if age, if, if 20 is greater than 16, true. And 20 is less than 60, true. And 20 is greater than 50, false, okay, so it's going to be false. The entire expression evaluates to true only if all of the conditions are true. So just hammering that into you guys. So how many AND operators can be used in one, one if statement? As many as you want, that's the answer. Uh, here we have the OR operator. Um, so you can sort of look at this logic table again, or this truth table. And so you have false and false, that's gonna be false. Uh, you have false or true. Um, so again, going back to that scenario of your grades, your professor says uh, you need to either get an A on test one or test two, okay? You don't have to get an A on both, but you just need to get an A on one test, okay? But if you don't get an A on either test, then it's obviously going to be false. So we have integer age set equal to 16 and integer score set equal to 90. So we say if age is greater than 20, if 16 is greater than 20, false, or score is greater than 50. Because this is false, um, it will still go on to this one, and because this meets a true condition, we're going to get true. You can combine any number of logical OR statements that you want, sort of like the AND statements, and in addition, multiple OR and AND statements may be chained together. So fill in the blank to print welcome on the screen. So we'll say, if age is greater than 21, okay, or money is greater than 500. So let's look at what this evaluates to. Age is greater than 21, but money is not greater than 500. That's okay, because we only need one of these expressions to evaluate to a Boolean of true. Awesome. So we also have the not operator. Basically, if you put that in front of anything, it negates the uh, truthy value of it. So say you have, you know, you have, uh, you have uh, var, you know, you set a variable, bool is old enough. You set that to true. And then on the next line, you say bool opposite. And then you set that equal to not, um, or this operator, not is old enough. That it will change the value of true to false and false to true and so on. So, cool. Uh, so here if int age is equal to 10, and we say if not age is greater than 16. So here it's going to look at this expression, age is greater than 16. Is it? No, that's false. And here it's going to say if true, count your age is less than 16. Okay. And... So this is kind of like a brain teaser the first time you see it, but you sort of just have to do it in terms of order of operations. All right. So the result of A or B is true if, okay, either A or B is true and um, 
both A and B are true. Um, I guess, it, yeah, I guess it could be this one too. So let's try that out. Um, but it doesn't have to be. All right, guys. So that was um, part 15 of Introduction to C++ Programming here on SoloLearn.com. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and please subscribe and support the channel. It means a lot. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Take care.